G'day everyone, Tempo here, and welcome to the TD Project. In today's episode, I'm going to be tackling an issue which I feel should not even be an issue because if everyone just pulled their head out of their ass and paid attention to the Australian classification ratings, it would not be an issue. But people choose to ignore them and then it turns into an unnecessary issue and it just the media blows it up and I think it's really stupid and everyone just needs to pull their, their head out of their ass. Anyway, before I get into this rant, I recommend you watch my the previous video I made on the Australian classification rating because that will be providing context for this video. And the basis for this rant is that Australia has a classific classification rating system for TV shows, movies, video games, and some of these ratings are restricted. We have MA15+, and R18+, which means you have to be of that age or older, whether it's MA15, you have to be 15 or older, R18, you have to be 18 or older, to watch that movie or buy that video game or whatever it is. But people then like to complain that these movies, TV shows, video games aren't kid friendly and it's, I just want to say to you guys, pull your head out of your ass because there's a, a rating on it which pretty much says it's not kid friendly. Anyway, watch that other video before you uh, jump back into this. I'll put a link up somewhere probably hopefully maybe and yeah, I just want to say Adult video games and movies are not for kids and what is my classification for what makes an adult video game or an adult movie? It's pretty much a video game or a movie. Let's, let's throw TV shows in there as well. It's one of those where they have the MA or R rating on it. If it's got an MA rating on it it's a restricted audience to people 15 years or older. And if it's got an R rating on it, it's got a restricted audience rating on it. You've got to be 18 years or older. It's just, I, I don't understand why so many Australians choose to ignore this and then buy their kids MA and R rated video games or take their kids to MA and R rated movies and then complain after the fact that this movie or video game is not kid friendly. Pull your head out of your ass, okay? I'm sick of this being a news topic. I don't understand how it's a news topic and how parents are constantly complaining about this. Oh, my child is playing Call of Duty and I don't like them playing Call of Duty because it's, M it's, a, it's an adult video game. And all I have to say to that is, first off, if your child is under 15, they legally cannot buy Call of Duty. If you were to go into a shop like EB Games or something, Target, Big W, Kmart, whatever, you went in there and you grabbed a hold of a copy of Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto or some other MA or R-rated game and then you went to the counter and you looked young, the store clerk, the cashier, is legally obligated to check your ID and refuse sale if you're not of age. So if your kid is under 15, and they're playing Call of Duty, they didn't buy it, because legally they can't buy it, so it's probably you that bought it, so you bought your kid this video game they legally can't buy and legally can't play, because it's not suitable for them, because it's an adult video game, and then your kid's playing it, and then you're complaining to the stores, or the video game companies, or the Australian government about how this video game is too violent, too graphic, too sexual, for your kid, despite the fact that there's an MA or R rating on these video games and this kid legally can't purchase it and legally can't play it. But no, you're an idiot and you're going to choose to ignore the fact that there's a rating on this video game and you're going to make a big hoo-ha about it, get the whole media involved and just turn this whole thing into a circus when this all would have been avoided if you pulled your head out of your ass and actually did some parenting and did not buy your underage child this MA or R rated video game or did not let anyone else gift them this MA or R rated video game. Like, you're a parent, that's your kid. You, you should be taking charge of what your kid is or isn't playing or viewing, especially with regards to adult video games and movies. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. Like, they got these ratings on there to tell people, hey, this is not a child-friendly video game or movie. It's for an adult audience, and yet you choose to 
stand by and let your kids watch or play these movies and video games and then complain after the fact that it's not suitable ki for kids. Just get stuffed and pull your head out of your ass. I don't see what the problem is because it really isn't a problem. The real problem is in your head because you're just not being a proper parent but you want the whole world to burn because you made a bad parenting decision and you want the, the video game and movie companies to pay for it and you want the Australian government to somehow take action even though the only action that needed to be taken was you not buying your kids these MA and R rated video games or letting them play it. I, it should be that simple, but clearly it's not, and I don't understand why everyone then takes the next step to make it into a media circus. Like, it's, it should not be an issue. Should not be an issue. I mean, you wouldn't take your underage kid to buy cigarettes, to buy alcohol. You wouldn't take them to the casino or the pokies room. You wouldn't take them to the strip club or to the brothel. Like, I don't, it's, it's no different than you buying your kid these MA and R rated video games. We have these restrictions for a reason. They're in the law. The, the store clerks, the shops legally can't sell these video games to MA. They can't sell MA and R rated video games to people under the age. And all these kids seem to be playing them. So clearly adults are buying them for their kids. And then they want to complain about it afterwards. To all you adults that do this, get stuffed, all right? Adult video games and adult movies aren't for kids. And like I talked a lot about video games, so we covered like you got Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto and that. And like let's talk about movies, all right? Deadpool. Deadpool is, I guess you could call him a superhero. And parents are like, oh, superheroes. My kids love superheroes. Let's take my 10 year old to watch Deadpool, which in Australia was rated MA15 plus because it had all kinds of ludicrous adult themes and scenes in it. And then parents were walking out of the cinemas going, I want my money back. This superhero movie was not f for, for kids and it scarred my, my kid for life, probably, maybe. And get stuffed, pull your head out of your ass. You should have known what you're going into because on the movie poster, on the movie trailer, on the freaking the board that showed the movie times was the MA rating. Pull your head out of your ass, all right? Like, you can't blame the cinema, you can't blame the movie. The only person to blame is yourself. And it wasn't, it's not just superhero movies like Deadpool. Remember, a while back, I forget which year, but it was a while back, there was this movie called Ted about this self-aware teddy bear. And the amount of people I saw taking their kids to watch this MA-rated movie because it had a teddy bear on the, on the bloody movie poster. Get stuff. To anyone that's seen Ted, you know very well it's not a kid's movie. To anyone that's seen the trailer or even glanced at the movie poster, you should know that it's not a kid's movie. It's MA rated in Australia. It's got like all these adult themes and scenes and sexual references and sexual scenes and oh, coarse language. And it, just because it's got a teddy bear on it does not make it okay for you to take your kid to watch. Like, pull your head out of your ass. Like, I, I went to watch Ted in the Simmers. And then I saw a family with their kids come in, young kids, little kids, and they walked out after a while, and I'm just sitting there thinking, why did you take your kids in there in the first place? What is wrong with you? And, like, I'm, let's, let's try and wrap it up. Like, this issue where people complain about adult video games and adult movies not being kid-friendly should not be an issue, because you shouldn't be taking your kids to watch adult movies. You shouldn't be buying your kids adult video games, because legally these kids can't do that by themselves. And this would not be an issue if just parents actually did some parenting and weren't idiots. Paid attention to the classification rating, which I feel the Australian government is doing a pretty alright job maintaining and upholding. It's, it's a solid system. The only flaw is idiots like you, like, like those parents. Like, just, just pull your head out of your ass, pay attention to this, the, the rating. And I don't care how kid-friendly the cover of that video game looks, or how kid-friendly that movie post looks. Look in the corner for the, the, the government's classification rating, and if it's not G, P, G, M, A, or maybe M, you, you'll use, you use your discretion on M ratings, but if it's M, A, or R, don't take your kid to see it. Or don't buy it for your kid. It should be that simple. Clearly it's not. So let's spread this message around. And do, do, you, do you know a parent that likes to complain about this issue, but at the same time will more than happily buy their kid Call of Duty for their birthday? Or take them to watch Deadpool and then complain to the staff later? Just share this video with them and tell them to get stuff from me and 
Uh, to my international viewers, do you guys have this problem with your rating system in your countries? Like, there's a rating system in place and people choose to ignore it because they're Muppets? Uh, let me know, let's get some discussion going in the comments below. Um, yeah, share this video around, let's get some discussion, please. Because um, if this video sh gets shared around enough, maybe people will pull their heads out of their ass and pay attention to the rating system. Anyway, do all that, that YouTube jazz, you know, what, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, get notified. Be kind, rewind, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.